I'm Andrew from the Doherty Art School. Today I'm going to show you how to make some Halloween decor with macrame. For this project you'll need about 100 yards of black macrame cord, scissors, and a long stick or dowel rod. The one I'm using is about 44 inches long. First we're just going to tie a couple of small loops around the branch so that we can hang it up on the wall while we're working on it. Now you're going to cut a piece of macrame cord that's about a foot longer than your branch and we're going to do a lark's head knot near the left side just a few inches from the end. So make a loop, wrap it over the branch and then pull the cord through and tighten it up. Now we're going to do a second knot a few inches away. So you're going to pull the cord over and behind the branch. You're going to pull it back up behind the branch and over and then you're going to stick the end through the loop and then tighten it up. You're going to do the same knot two more times so you'll end up with three sections hanging down. Now we're going to do another lark's head knot. You'll fold a piece of cord in half, wrap the end over the top, and then pull the ends through the loop. The cord I used for this is about 30 inches long. You'll cut several more pieces of cord and then repeat this knot on either side of the middle section until you fill it up. Repeat this with the other two sections and you can use cord that's about half as long as what you used for the middle section. I've cut out this bat shaped template and I'm going to use it to help guide me to create the shape that I want. Now I'm going to trim my cords to somewhat resemble the shape behind it. Now we're going to do a vertical clove hitch knot across the whole length. So we need a strand of cord that's about four to five times longer than the branch. And then we're going to tie it to the last two strands of cord on the left side. Then bring the strand over the top of the cords, back around underneath, and then pull it through the loop. I'll show a close up in the next clip. So for the next strand of two, you'll pull the cord underneath, across the front, back under on the other side, pull it through the loop and tighten. Repeat this step, and then you'll move on to the next thread of two and keep repeating this until you reach the other side. Once I finished, I decided to move those knots down just about an inch so you can gently pull them until they sit where you like. Now we'll add one more section for the bat head so we can do a couple of lark's head knots just like we did at the beginning. Now you'll fill this section with cords and lark's head knots just like we did for the other three sections, making sure the strands are long enough to reach the bottom of your project. Finish it off with the vertical clove hitch knot going across and then you can trim the bottom if needed. Thanks for watching and have a happy Halloween!